No. I'd rather be at home, stripped down to me jockeys, eating pickled onion crisps, watching one man handling his dog. <laughs> it's one man and his dog, Everton. Hello. Is there a Savannah Kunkel works here? Unfortunately. Uh, <clears throat> over here. <gasps> For me? <gasps> read the card, read the card. My darling Savannah. Oh, that's me. Thank you for the most wonderful night of my life. You have ruined me for all other women. Forever. Signed. Some poor sort of don't get out much. <laughs> So maybe if you're a rich man, you could afford a frame for those. All right, chef. Look, um, how about me, you, and Dad going out for a drink? Everton, my father no longer exists. All evidence of his life on Earth has been completely eradicated. What you mean, like the X Files? <laughs> he introduced me to his lady friend today. Tight skirt, long hair, not a day over twenty-eight. God, I really lost it with him. Mm. I don't blame you, you know. I mean, she could have brought someone for you, innit? Yeah, I'd like a word. In private. Oh, God, didn't you know? I got some good news. Don't tell me. Using the most powerful microscopes known to man, scientists have discovered a new solitary hair growing on your head. <laughs> no, it's me and Rini. We're talking again. Oh, good for you. Yeah, and if I stood my ground, you'd come around. It's the nature of the beast. You have to show them who's master. You bought her a new car, didn't you? Oh, yeah. That's the MX-5 convertible. Cost me a bloody packet. And she won't be seeing this Rick again? Well, not exactly. You see, apparently this Rick is a very decent young... Well, he's a very decent sort of bloke. <laughs> Reminder of me, you know. <laughs> and you're allowing your daughter to fraternise with this pervert? He's not a pervert. He's in advertising. He's old enough to be a father. What about his wrinkled hands caressing her tender, young, supple flesh? What well, did you say the age didn't matter? I did not. You did she too! There's been a phone call. That should spice up your autobiography. No, it's the hospital in Oxford. Bad news. Janice. It's your father. He's been taken in with chest pain. Oh, my God. You. What have you done to my father? What do you mean? Don't play the innocent with me, young lady. I know your type. First it's soul-searching across a crowded room, then it's holding hands in the park. The next thing you know, it's paid 78 of the Karma Sutra and boom! <laughs> Hello, heart attack, and bring on the Merry Widow. You can't say that about me. You don't even know me. Or did he drag him off to a rave? I can just see it now. A 56-year-old man dancing in the middle of a field in the middle of the night. <laughs> and the next thing you know, he's taken ecstasy and tried to French kiss a cow! Yeah. No wonder his heart gave out. Gareth, there's nothing wrong with your father's heart. He was suffering from severe indigestion. <laughs> Whose fault is that? His. I told him not to eat a whole duck at that time of night, but would he listen? My father never listens to anybody. Tell me about it. He's as stubborn as a mule! Yeah, you can say that again. An argumentative... The worst? That's why I'm out here. I've just had a few words. What about? Money. As usual, he's broke again! I thought he just made a killing on livestock. The livestock in question won the 2.30 at Sandown Park last Monday. Of course, it's all gone now. Typical. What do you see in him? He's a nice bloke. He thinks the world of you, you know. Oh, yes. There's a very special place in his heart just for me, somewhere between tax inspector and hemorrhoids. No, you're wrong. He's always saying Gareth this and Gareth that. My son, the famous chef. He's very proud of you. He is? Look, Minnie, I think I owe you an apology. Forget it. It's not the first time I've been on the wrong end of the Blackstock temper. <laughs> well, as I'm here, might as well go and see him. I'll get a copy. What the hell are you doing here? The hospital called me. Well, they shouldn't have. Bad enough I'm dying without having to look at your stupid face. Dad, <laughs> you're not dying. You had indigestion. Even if I was dying, you wouldn't care. I'm here, aren't I? Only because you want to do the catering at my funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Dad, if you and Minnie still want my blessing, 
Then you've got it. She's all right. Oh, so now you want to do the catering at my wedding and all? <laughs> <laughs> if you like. Look, <laughs> take care of yourself, all right? OK. See you. Bye. Oh, Garrett, you think you have it in your heart to lend me a few quids? My cash flow dry. <laughs> One monkfish. Oh, and of course he's asked me to meet his parents this weekend. I am so excited. Why, Savannah? I never met a parent before. Of course I have, you big silly. It's just, well, you know, it's a big step. Mm. Oh, by the way, there was a call for you earlier from the florist. Apparently, your credit card didn't cover the cost of the flowers you sent yourself. So could you send a cheque to cover the balance as soon as possible? Oh, right. I don't suppose they said anything about a basket of fruit for tomorrow, did they? Not as far as I know. Good. <laughs> ah, Cyril, you're looking very dapper tonight. <laughs> What's the occasion? Annual general meeting of the Skipton Pickled Egg Cartel? No. Oh, I've been dinner with Rini and Rick. Oh. Uh, Goopet! Hello, Daddy. Chef. Renee. You all right, love? Uh, where's Rick? I don't know and I don't care. I never want to see him again as long as I live. Bon appetit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there something the matter, pet? You should have heard him, Daddy. What have you done to your hair, Rene? You've got far too much makeup on, Rene. Oh, you're not going out in public with me dressed like that, Rene. <sighs> the decrepit old sod sounded just like you, Daddy. <laughs> Quite frankly, I don't know why you ever let me go out with him in the first place. <laughs> well, I expect it'll soon blow over less order, eh? Oh, no, sorry, Daddy, I've got a lift waiting. <laughs> Come along, Everton, I haven't got all night. <laughs> so, have you two decided yet? The guinea fowl, stuffed with truffles, served with forest grass in a sauterne juice, will do for me. Oh, no, it won't. Don't worry. We're not paying for it, you know. You've already been in hospital once this week. What are you after? A season ticket. All right, you two, relax. We're supposed to be having fun. How can I relax when she watch me every move? You heard of Big Brother? Well, meet his little sister. Do you have any idea about the level of your cholesterol? What's my car got to do with anything? <laughs> All right, you two, calm down. We're supposed to be having a nice supper. Shut Stop. up! He's always the same. Never listen. Chuck. Fry ups for breakfast, junk food for lunch. I'm a adult. I swear, not. his arches will end up more block than the M25. Stop. 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 So do not test the top of my profession The master of my chosen field Of that there is no question Take the time to listen to what I have to say So what I have to the say game That we have to play It's serious uh, Serious profession Serious 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 profession Serious